Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to tomorrow. Today is the 57th anniversary of the first moon landing in 1969. So on this very special day, I wanted to reflect on recent events and the progress that humanity has made in space since that fateful landing. This is your space pod for July 20th, 2016. Ah, the space race. A time when Cold War rivals were competing against each other to reach the moon first. A race that America won as Russia shifted its focus towards long duration spaceflight missions and turned the concept of space stations into a reality. Man, if things had been just a little bit different, America and Russia might have gone to the moon together, which is what John F. Kennedy wanted, and Nikita Khrushchev wasn't necessarily opposed to the idea either. They had met a handful of times to discuss the very topic, but not long after their initial discussions, JFK was assassinated. But not before the seed of cooperation was planted, which took root and sprouted in the form of the Apollo-Soyuz test project a flight which took place between July 15th and July 24th, 1975, 41 years ago, another anniversary that we can celebrate right now. Even as regimes and administrations changed, America and Russia continued to cooperate on the Mir space station with the shuttle Mir program, and that initial sprout of cooperation blossomed, and the Mir space station became a true symbol of peace and cooperation, and a promise of much greater things to come. That promise is being fulfilled with the International Space Station, the modern wonder of the world, a place where once warring nations have common goals and aspirations, and a common stepping stone on humanity's greatest adventure of exploration and growth. Just two weeks ago, three different space travelers from three different nations that were at war with each other less than a century ago rode together on a Soyuz capsule into space and reached the International Space Station safely. And I must say that I love that the Russian space launch coverage has taken notes from SpaceX launch coverage and is improving all of the time. So let's look at some more recent events that continues this spirit of cooperation and harmony in space, which, at least in my mind, is the true legacy of the space program, for as long as we can continue together, anyway. So let's look at the most recent and very appropriately named Progress spacecraft that was sent to refuel and restock the space station. This is the Progress MS-03 supply ship, also the 64th Progress being launched to the International Space Station. Launch occurred at 2141 Coordinated Universal Time on Saturday, July 16th, aboard a Soyuz-U rocket from the Baikonur Cosmodrome. The launch was successful and the uncrewed cargo ship carried over two metric tons or over 5,000 pounds of cargo to the space station. And it reached orbit and performed several maneuvers to rendezvous with the space station which it was able to do successfully. This Progress vehicle was the third flight of a modernized Progress spacecraft with upgrades to its navigation, docking, and communication systems, which were able to link up successfully to the International Space Station's Piers docking compartment on Monday. Everything went well with the docking, and crew members are expected to open the hatch of the Progress later this week to unpack all of the different supplies that they brought with them. Food, waste containers, medical supplies, and experiments as well. But before the Progress spacecraft docked to the International Space Station, another cargo craft was launched into space on Monday, July 18th. This time, a Dragon capsule, launching on top of a Falcon 9 from Cape Canaveral. Five, four, three, two, one. Lift off of the Falcon 9. Falcon 9 is through the towers. This launch took place at 4.45 Coordinated Universal Time, and the mission was to fulfill CRS-9, 
or the ninth commercial resupply mission from SpaceX for NASA, another type of cooperation between government and industry to continue the harmony that we have achieved at the space station. On this spacecraft, it also carried more supplies, provisions, and experiments, but also a device to advance the government and industry relationship further the International Docking Adapter No. 2, or IDA-2. The space station's robotic arm will pluck the docking adapter from the Dragon's trunk around August 16th, and astronaut Jeff Williams and Kate Rubens will go outside on a spacewalk August 18th to help install the new docking port on the front end of the Harmony module, where Boeing's Starliner and SpaceX's Dragon capsules will dock with arriving astronauts. A similar docking adapter was lost in June of 2015 during the CRS-7 mission, which was destroyed. And because of that, NASA has paid Boeing to build a third docking adapter. That way they can have two of these docking adapters at the space station for visiting spacecraft. So that the way they could have the Starliner and the Dragon visiting at the same time. Now the Dragon capsule for CRS-9 will have arrived at the space station early this morning. At the time of me filming this, this hadn't happened just yet. But I'm sure that the grappling and berthing and unpacking of the Dragon will all be successful. So, in closing, I feel that we've accomplished a lot in the space age, and are continuing to make progress every day. And as long as we keep that spirit of cooperation, and expand that goodwill towards all the nations of the world, <coughs> like China, <coughs> then we'll have a very bright future ahead of us, full of accomplishments just as meaningful as the first moon landing. Tell me what some of your favorite accomplishments are in spaceflight. I would love to know. And I'd also invite you to connect with me and the rest of the Tomorrow crew on social media so that we can have a deeper discussion about humanity's accomplishments in space. Also, a very big thank you to all of our patrons who've made the creation of these videos possible through crowdfunding. We couldn't do this without you, and I'm extremely grateful to each and every one of you for your support. Thank you so much, and thank you for watching this video. My name is Michael Clark. Keep moving onwards and upwards, everybody, and I will see you in the future.